hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in this session I'm going to be discussing trading double tops and double bottoms double tops and double bottoms can occur with both uh, trading with the trend and counter trend and can be an extremely profitable strategy to trade now day and swing trading is really a patent solving exercise using trend lines in your trading and recognize and learning how to trade patterns can help catch the really big moves but what's really important that you realize is that there's a lot of different types of patterns so what I'm doing is creating a series of recordings that I'll be emailing out to you discussing various setups such as ascending and descending triangles we'll be discussing wedges wolf waves and a number of other extremely profitable trading strategies but we'll start with double tops and double bottoms because it's one of the easiest to learn and one of the most profitable so as we get into this video I do need to put the risk disclaimer up if you're new to my channel or if you've uh, perhaps haven't watched one of my many videos for a long time I'd recommend you stop the recording and read the risk disclaimer now as we get underway this video is actually being posted for the benefit of the public and I may have a number of members actually watching this video as well so members if you're watching the video if you go and log into the members area you'll actually see that I've created um, some extremely comprehensive PowerPoints and I've been there for some time so you may have already watched these and let me just find it here for you where's the double top and double bottom one gone um, right before me there it is there <laughs> oh dear me we got that many PowerPoints now get a little lost so if you go in there traders you'll be able to uh, download the PowerPoint and also if you go and log in to the trading strategies videos the videos are recorded teaching you how to trade the strategy are in the Excel sheets and one more thing in the trading ebook section I have three or four excellent books there on uh, trading patterns I'd recommend that you uh, uh, study now with that being said traders it's very very easy to become overwhelmed and I recommend that you start with one pattern uh, uh, learn how to trade it master it own it before you move on for next to the next one because I'm going to be teaching you over a series of videos seven or eight outstanding patterns that will dramatically improve your bottom line but it's very important that you start with one and build from there otherwise what happens is um, you really become overwhelmed and as they say jack of all trades master of none likewise in learning patterns um, spend the time and I'd recommend you start with double tops and double bottoms because as you see it's not an exact science that they're easy to learn but gee they're, they're profitable now very quickly uh, I don't want to turn this into a big advertisement but if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel please do visit my website to request I've got two free ebooks now if you're new to my channel uh, and of course all of this is contained along with uh, dozens of ebooks uh, there's now 300 training videos there's just a ton of material in there for $197 you get all of this there is no upsell there's nothing else to buy for a permanent membership to the day traders fast track program now let's get into this so double tops and double bottoms I'm not going to read all of this because I want to get to the charts where I can visually explain it to you but a, a double top or bottom is a reversal chart pattern which is defined when price finds resistance or support at a particular level it retraces then might makes a second attempt to break through only to fail and fall to fall fall away I should say um, now the market loves to test things twice and what happens is once it tested test that um, tests it twice and it's rejected quite often you'll get an explosive move back in reverse so it can be just a great strategy to learn and I'm not going to go through and read every word as I mentioned here because we'll look at the charts and I can explain it a lot easier if you want to of course just just pause the video but I do want to show you these charts and uh, then we'll go to uh, look at some live charts from yesterday from last night's uh, trading so very it's very very simple we can see here that price has come up and hit resistance it's tested at once gone up and tested twice now a lot of traders will then say okay it's gone up there to have a sell stop in um, down at your last swing low traders you give back all of that profit there's a lot of profit can be given now we may call it an aggressive entry but using one of the day traders fast track strategy entries 
we can get in here very very early and very successfully now I've got down here high probability once price supports uh, break support well that's questionable I, I really like to get in up here and many other traders many professionals would say exactly the same thing so very very simple you go up to resistance up again we would have an entry up here or if you do want to be conservative you can jump in here now here I'm showing some examples from some older charts that I actually had on trading the Forex market it doesn't matter what market you're trading whether you're a day swing or position trader of stocks futures or Forex the setups are their geometric setups they set up every day in every market so they just uh, it's just a really reliable pattern uh, we can see here once again coming down to support so the other ones with the double top was resistance now we're down to support so we've come down tested once tested twice and we would actually be in uh, around at this level here if you wanted to be conservative you can get in once you take the high out and if you're trading fractals by the way if you've got a small swing high there yes that that'll be fine but uh, I really like to get in because by getting in uh, earlier if you if you're like me and you like to put your stop loss one or two ticks under the little swing low here uh, the earlier you get in the smaller your stop loss is and the larger the target you can set so that's very very important that you consider that and you'll see this regularly where you'll get support and resistance so here we're looking at the 15 range your 15 range chart is quite slow uh, now in this particular day you can see actually it was um, uh, over uh, what's that um, yeah that's over a number of days just looking at the chart time down there but you can see we've come down twice gone up there and tested it twice and fallen away and as I mentioned it's a really regular reliable um, strategy to look at and to trade so let's now go directly to the charts so I'm going to give you a number of examples here now trading double tops and double bottoms and in, in actual fact virtually um, any pattern in the market and when you're using trend lines or trading patterns it's not an exact science and in most cases close enough is good enough and as I say to my members walks like a duck looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck so let me just show you this one now this is not a this is a trade actually that I took last night on gold so what we're looking at here traders is gold the yellow metal uh, 144 tick and you can see here I was right on a pivot level a floor pivot uh, and I think this was the s1 actually but anyway uh, we can see here it's not exact it's I call this a flat top but it has the same formation as a as a double top it's gone up tested bummed around so it's not the exact one but I wanted to show that it doesn't have to be and you can see here one thing I do like to add is I like to add my I've got a special platinum MACD that I use I call it a platinum MACD it's, it's a very sensitive MACD you can see there I've got my MACDs falling across I entered here that was an $80 move per contract to contract that was a, a nice little trade five on the first eight on the second now up here later on we then had a double top up here against the um, one of our uh, EMAs and that actually also was an $80 move now down here we've come down we've bounced on a pivot we've come up we've bounced off the EMA come down and bounced on the pivot formed a t7 now by the way we call double tops and double bottoms t7s we've got over 12 different strategies so we we give them code names and uh, and, and by the way if you remember watching this just remember the rule if you're new to the program master one to three strategies as well before you move on to the next one very important so you've got the double bottom here and the arrows here this is a great move okay so you'll find a lot of these moves you know you'll pick up 15 20 ticks now on gold that is of course 150 to 200 dollars per contract now let's go and have a look at a, another market let's go and have a look at CL so if we look at um, uh, oil here the, the black gold we're looking at a 610 chart now once again uh, uh, these appear on all markets and all time frames so what I want to show you is this let me just scroll this over for you so you can see here we had a double bottom okay come down went back up there so you actually had an entry you could have gone long here you actually had divergence once again I love divergence when I've got a double top or double bottom okay so small moved and bounced off the EMA and this is one of the things that you need to be aware of of course is that when you entered a double top or a double bottom you've got to consider where is my 
closest support or resistance where am I most likely to bounce so our members know that you're very likely to get a bounce at your major EMAs which is exactly what happened you then had a ended up having a, an 89 B right here so you come down and you tested it again now here there's a one tick difference between this low and this low now this is really form what we call a triple bottom one two three but you know it's it's still exactly the same we've tested it three times it's been rejected and off it goes it really flies so just be aware of that when you have a triple bottom or a triple top you can get some really great moves as you had there up the top here we can see and we had a standard divergence trade here then we had another great double top here a t7 and away it went now on a standard trading chart say if I'm trading a 144 tick or a 233 or a small range etc I'll allow uh, up to two ticks higher on either side so if this um, a particular top here was two ticks higher than this one that's fine the higher the time frame the more lenient I am so let's just say if I'm trading a daily chart and I had this was five ticks or six ticks higher that would be fine okay close enough is good enough it's got exactly the same but what I do want to see I do want to see divergence which is important to me now let's now go and have a look at chart at an NQ chart so this is a 144 NQ chart exactly the same thing now this if you look down here you've got very slight divergence you can see it's starting to happen here now what makes this even better is that we've come down we're bouncing on a major EMA we're bouncing on a floor pivot we've come down and tried um, uh, this uh, the low twice so there's my double bottom and you know the ideal double bottoms is maybe when you have seven or eight candles in between but once again this is fine because there are other things that are adding to it if you notice how EMAs our major EMAs are in an up uptrend so this is a double bottom with the trend a very very high probability trade um, as most of our members know we call it a bet the farm trade because they're just really great trades now once again when I say that I say it tongue-in-cheek you always um, uh, consider your money management rules and up here we then had a great double top and there's a lot of other things there that make this a, a great uh, double top here but one of them here is you've got divergence and let's go and have a look maybe at the euro dollar so this is the euro dollar 89 tick so as day traders of course we trade lower time frames so we can see up here we've got some divergence uh, you can see that there and let me just bring my my pointer back here you can see I've got divergence now this is dropping away now I know it's not two humps or whatever like you've had from say there to there but once again close enough is good enough because price has gone up tested up again and it's I know we could argue and some will argue that's a triple top but you know what close enough is good enough it's gone up a number of times and it's trading with the trend okay if I was to put my anchor chart up you'd see it was screaming down this is a great double top to trade and of course we had an explosive move when I say an explosive, we had a great move let me put it this way down here we had another one okay we had another double top down and then you had a double bottom and what happened with that one okay it rallied up and you bounced on the EMAs now remembering you always consider this so where do you pull your stops in or where do you take profits one thing we teach our members is to be very aware of where is your most likely bounce point going to be here in this case resistance being a major EMA so you really want to be aware of that and either pull your stops right in and go to break even or take your profits or a part profit and that's really what we teach now here of course you've got to be aware of if you're taking uh, a trade with the trend you're always going to watch this so let me just uh, draw this here for you so you can't really see it here but just here is you've got your closest swing low just over here okay so you've got to be aware that you know you might get ready for a bounce likewise you take where's my close I enter this trade where's my closest swing low it's here and you actually bounced off that now what a lot of traders will do is I'll say okay let's take um, some of our profits off here and what you can also do and this is perhaps digressing a little but when you go in these and you know you've got a major bounce point sometimes you'll see the market will turn before you hit it 
so you can front run uh, these bounces by perhaps having a, uh, a buy order in one or two ticks above this swing low just to guarantee that you do get filled if it does bounce or at least take partial profits so traders that is a very quick run down on trading double tops and double bottoms it's a very simple pattern to, uh, to trade members there's a there's actually uh, cheat sheets there's uh, power, extensive powerpoints in the members area uh, we've got some great uh, ebooks in there on trading chart patterns uh, along with the the powerpoints and the recordings there's a ton of stuff there if you're new to my channel or if you want come and join us $197 traders you get lifetime access uh, you get all of this tons of great stuff like this we've got over 1400 members and uh, we'll, our target is 10,000 within the next two years we're building a great community of day traders uh, there's no upsell there's no coaching programs to buy 197 is it so we hope to see you as a member and you're on my mailing list so expect to receive another uh, recording over the next couple of days with another setup it'll probably be on descending and ascending triangles another great strategy for day and swing trading thank you traders see you on the next recording